Hey, what's up everybody? Tony here. Hope you guys are doing well, staying safe out there. And today I wanted to share another guitar with you. Now this is another one of the guitar mod projects that I have uh, been messing around with here recently. And no, your eyes are not playing tricks on you. This is a seafoam green guitar. Yes, I do own something other than black and white guitars. So uh, I'll talk a little bit about this one. This is a Schecter Sun Valley Super Shredder. I picked this thing up for dirt cheap and they're already fairly affordable uh, guitars. So yeah, so this is part of that whole uh, guitar mod uh, thing uh, that's been going on in my world here, uh, at least in 2020. And like I said, I found this one for a really good price and I, uh, I modified it. And so here's what I did. It's, it's a mahogany body with a maple neck and it has a, a slim C profile that is actually really comfortable even though it's a thinner C. It's really comfortable to play. Uh, fret work was already good on it. I played on about seven or eight of these and, and since 2017 in stores and I used to own one. And uh, they're real comfortable and the fret work's been good on all of them. Um, there's some other issues, uh, and I'll touch on that here in a second, but the guitar that I uh, previously owned was the black satin version, and it had, uh, I, uh, I had done some modifications to it, and I had posted one video with it, I never did a uh, review of it, and I shot a video one day, I did a one take video to a backing track, and it did it with my phone and bad lighting, so it wasn't the. It was a blurry type of video, and grainy and stuff. And it's my most watched video, a one take improv. But uh, I have to say, man, for affordable guitars, to especially to mod out, yeah, this is a really good one. Enough of that. Uh, so, like I said, mahogany body, maple neck, and it has. It came with a Floyd Rose Special, and has uh, EMG retroactive pickups, which I think sound really good. Has two volume knobs and a three-way toggle switch, and you can do the whole blending thing here. Uh, I put locking tuners on here. These are the Diodario locking tuners, the kind where you put them through, you lock it, and then when you turn it, it, it clips the ends off for you. Uh, these were off of another guitar. <laughs> This Floyd is a Floyd 1000 series made in Korea. These are original Floyd Roses. I spoke with Floyd Rose. They told me that these are the same as the German Floyd Rose guitar, uh, Floyd Rose uh, bridges just manufactured in South Korea. I had always thought and heard differently. That's what they said, so I'm just relaying. Uh, but uh, I've played with these uh, a bit and I never had any issues with them. Here's something that does not happen on a Floyd Rose Special. So this is a little clip here, but it's a magnet on it, and it sticks, as you can see, to this Floyd Rose 1000 series uh, bridge. It won't do that to a uh, Floyd Rose Special. So just thought I'd throw that out there and then pass along that information that the guys at Floyd Rose told me. So. Um, Anyways, um, one of the things about this guitar is that uh, when I took the Floyd Rose off and took everything off in order to, you know, examine it, clean it, and pull the pit guard off and all that uh, to check it out and modify it and everything, and I usually take a guitar apart and then reassemble it, uh, the dowels fell out, the, the uh, Floyd Rose post, um, uh, bridge post uh, screw into, the whole thing fell out. And it happened on the other guitar I had too. But thankfully, I have a lot of bits, parts and bits and pieces from doing these mod projects and have several uh, Floyd Rose sleeves and um, posts here. And uh, they're still, a magnet will stick to those and you I plug them in here. I had to actually hammer them in 
the ones from the special, like I said, just slid right out. I mean, talk about tuning nightmare, especially on a Floyd Rose bridge. I mean, dang. But I put these in here, and it's perfectly uh, stable now. But I did have to get my uh, Dremel, Dremel tool and do a little bit of routing. This 1000 series and the original Floyd Rose bridges are, are a little bit bigger. And uh, I had to route out these corners because uh, up here because they were um, it, you couldn't pull you couldn't first off couldn't get the bridge low enough to to set it right set the action right you couldn't push forward uh, without hitting the wood here so um, yeah I had to fix that um, I changed off the three way toggle switch because I had one and this is one of those really heavy duty ones uh, and I put a trimmel no on here. And it, uh, this uh, uh, bridge, uh, Floyd Rose uh, bridge, already had been modified uh, on the other guitar that I'd purchased it from. I just took it parts off of it and put it on here, but it has a 32 millimeter fat brass block instead of the 32 millimeter uh, skinny block that is silver, but is actually not steel, it's brass. Like I said, the fretwork was good. It's, these are extra jumbo uh, frets here. Uh, they're just your standard nickel, nickel sil silver. It's a 14 inch radius, 24 frets on this guitar with amazing access. Uh, the, um, the width of the neck, I don't know the exact measurements of it, but uh, it's, it's smaller than like on a Keys or a Charvel. Um, it's, uh, I don't, I'm not gonna tell you what it is. Maybe I'll post it on the screen if I look it up after shooting this video, uh, but it is a skinnier neck. Uh, this way. It's super fast. It's, they call it the Sun Valley Super Shredder. Uh, my fingers at times, I've been ripping on this thing, will uh, trip over themselves a bit. I go too fast and I just, it's a, uh, uh, in a way I guess it's harder to play uh, that, but um, you can really fly on these things. They are so fun to play. And again, for aff uh, the affordable guitars, I mean, these things, like I said, were, I don't know if I'd mentioned that already, but these are, um, around 630 brand new now you can get these and uh, if you find them on the used market for around 500 bucks 450 I got this for well under four well under 400 bucks so I then did all the work to it but it's I, I still don't have a ton of cash in this guitar and it's, they're so fun to play it was worth doing the modifications too so and yeah that's that's pretty much it I just wanted to share it and hope you guys enjoyed the video. And so, yeah, that's all, folks. Uh, you guys take care out there. Uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. And peace. Till next time.